You don't have to know anything about Colin Deland, but you see a picture of him running naked, you know the vibe. I was always naked. For me, it's the visual of freedom. I cared about being different. I didn't care about fashion. And I love that it's like, oh, Colin's brand is buzzling and he's taking himself very seriously and he's becoming a designer and he won an LVMH prize and da da da, da and he's naked on Instagram. I was Colin's counselor. Well, I know he wanted to go to college, but I didn't have like a pinpoint of what he was going to do. And I really couldn't predict where he was going to go. I just knew he was going to do incredible things. You know, Colm also was just interested in a whole different world of everything. All of a sudden, somebody's like, Colm's selling t-shirts in the cafeteria. I'm like, oh, sweet, you know? <laughs> Kids were clamoring for them. I didn't realize our, you know, our trip. What we thought, what we were, our little sketches on lunch table could come to something real. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. They're fucking awesome. What I love about New York City is everyone moves here to make it. You don't move here to settle down. I always say this, anyone you want to be in your life lives within a 10 mile radius of you in New York. So it makes everything tangible. You see real examples of success that you want. I feel like I can really, really make it. Whatever it is, I feel like I can do it here in New York. I had lived a lot of different places and exploring and adventure was always the things I used to do as a kid. I used to climb on scaffoldings and get on roofs in Soho, and then I just walk across roofs, roofs, roofs. It's kind of beautiful. So anyways, one time I did it. We got caught climbing buildings because it's illegal. We get arrested and the cops press us and they're like, where's your spray can? Where are the drugs? Where's the da da da? And we were like, kind of we're just climbing it to see the stars. I mean, when you're a kid and you're so free, everything's amazing, everything seems possible. And I never lost that spirit. And I'm like, well, how'd you lose the fun, the humor, the ambition, the naivete of life that allows you to create purely? They call it child. I think it's just like the perfect way of being.